will go to 184 pounds as Northwest Kansas Technical College has already wrapped this duel up. A big wins from all four of their Mongolians. And now we have Charles Small wrestling here for Northwest Kansas Tech to transfer from Notre Dame College. Number six in the nation against Jared Bird. Great job, Small gets away from that single leg, goes up to upper body. Trying to bring the hips of Bird down to the mat and we're out of bounds. Charles Small, number six in the country at 184 pounds for the Northwest Kansas Tech Mavericks. They have wrapped this duel up. Three pins by Western Wyoming to make the score 27-24. So Northwest Kansas Tech will make their way to that junior college finals. Is one of the powerhouses of junior college, Clackamas, usually in the finals and usually wins, is not here this year. So a new champion will be crowned at the junior college level and it could be Northwest Kansas Tech. Is that so far, they already punched their ticket with three matches to go to the finals. And we're out of bounds. Jared Bird of Western Wyoming. Wrestling against Charles Small of Northwest Kansas Tech. There's a shot there by Bird. Bird gets in on a nice single leg. Small will thigh pry and split the, split the legs. Bird will try to come out from the backside. He'll have to elevate this up in the air, but Small is too heavy. And will stalemate will be called. Connor Kirkland and Landon Brown will be 197 and 285 for Western Wyoming. They're both ranked. Kirkland number eight at 197, Landon Brown number three at heavyweight. 120 left, two point takedown for Brown, excuse me, for Small at the edge of the mats. Small, Charles Small will get a two point takedown. Winning that scramble as Bird put the arm over the head of Small and Small ducked through it and got the two point takedown. Could have easily turned it into four more points if they were on the mat. 2-0 lead for Small. At 197, we'll have Darius Hamilton for Northwest Kansas Tech. There's a one-point escape there for Bird. And we'll stop that. Bird gets in on a single leg and was pushing that single leg forward. And Small's leg wasn't bending at all. And that did not sound pretty as injury time is called. Bird put a lot of pressure on that leg, that front shot right on the, the left leg of Small. He was bowling forward, trying to push forward. Small was fighting back and his leg wasn't bending the right way. Minute 24 left here in the first. As I was saying, our last two matches are two ranked opponents for Western Wyoming against Darius Hamilton and Benny Hernandez, Northwest Kansas Tech. If there's anybody that Northwest Kansas Tech misses, it's their heavyweight. From last year, the national champion and third place finisher, who now is the heavyweight for Campbell University. As injury time is done and Bird will have his choice and he will pick down. The referee's trying to figure out something here. Just trying to get on the same page with the um, with the the clock operator here. Two one. Charles Small got a takedown on the edge of the mat and one point escape for Bird after that. And then Bird, after injury time, called by Small, 
will call, will pick his position, he'll pick bottom. It's a minute left in the first, and Bird gets a choice. He's gonna have to try to get out from underneath here. Small does a great job with his mat returns. The transfer from the Falcons of Notre Dame College out in Cleveland, Ohio. Charles Small doing a great job so far, riding on top of Burt. 38 seconds to go here in the first. As I was talking before about the heavyweight that graduated last year from junior college at Northwest Kansas Technical College, old girl Botkazigig. Warning called on red. Not moving enough. Warning on stalling called on. Mr. Small against Jared Bird here of Western Wyoming. Off the whistle, one point escape. One point escape for Bird. It didn't look like Small was ready for that whistle to start. We're right back up on her feet. We're tied 2-2. And that's the end of your second. We'll go to the third. Excuse me, that was the end of the first. I was confused by that, that choice that Bird had. That was because of an injury time, of course. So yeah, we just ended the first. We'll go to the second, we're tied 2-2. Small trying to get out from the bottom here, and he will. One point escape. Three, two. Charles Small leads. Three, two. On the edge of the mat there, Small has both arms around the waist, but sprawled out as Jared Bird and stalemate called. Old girl of Botkazig was the heavyweight for two years for Northwest Kansas Technical College. He's a third place finisher and a national champion and now he is the heavyweight for Campbell University. So Coach Sabali had to replace him. I'm sure he misses him a lot. So we'll see a new heavyweight for Northwest Kansas Technical College in a couple weights. Bird gets in on a single leg. But Small will capitalize on the bad shot by Bird and look to get around. And two point takedown for Bird. Extend his lead now, five to two. Five two lead for Charles Small over Jared Bird of Western Wyoming. This duel is already wrapped up. Already wrapped up here. For Northwest Kansas Tech, they're up 27 to six. Small doing a great job riding here off from the right side. As we have a quick um, match summary, uh, Quick dual summary for you. A 125, it was a pin by Jordan Marshall from Northwest Kansas Tech. As we're end of the second period, we'll go to the third here at 184. Six seconds left, 5-3. Almost to the end, end of the period, that is. Stoppage, 5-3 lead here for Small. And that will be the end of your second. We'll go to the third and final period. 5-3 lead for Small. Minute 51 of riding time. Bird will pick down. He'll start right where he left things off here in the second. And Small is just going to go right back up to his feet. His coach wants to go up on his feet. 5-3, riding time should be locked up. And Bird will go to his feet and get a one-point escape to make it 5-4. There's a shot there. 
Nice shot there by Bird. As it looked like Small was getting away from him. Bird snagged the single leg, but we go out of bounds. My dual recap, 125, Jordan Marshall picking up the pin early in the second period at 133 and 141. Back-to-back -back wins from Northwest Kansas Tech by major decision. 149, a decision win for Northwest Tech. At 157, Tony Kinsey with a huge pin. There's a shot there by Bird. Bird gets a single leg up in the air here for Western Wyoming. No points yet. A minute 10 left here in this match. A minute 51 of riding time for Small. Bird had the single leg up, up in the air, and he let go of it. And Small turns it into a two-point takedown. Scurries around the right side and makes it look easy and gets two points. Way too easy there for Small as it looked like Bird just gave up on the single leg. And Small gets a two-point takedown. So after the big pin at 157 by Kinsey, Monroe got Western Wyoming on the board with a big pin of, a, of his own. And then Northwest Kansas got back into their winning ways with yet again another major decision. Stalling called on red. They're going to call Stalling on small. One point will be awarded to Bird. As he had him from the top position, but was pushing him out of bounds. The ref called him one point on small. So there's a there's a point for Bird to keep him alive here. As we go back to our summary at 174, Tsugbayar to Serendagua got a, another major decision win for Northwest Kansas to put the duel out of reach. Where we're at right now, 184. And Small will pick up the win, 7-5 with 2.54 of riding time. Gave up stalling against them at the end, but rode off the rest and got a 7-5 win. Charles Small puts extra points on the board here for Northwest Kansas.